Hey, how's it going, YouTube? My name is Single Player Nacho. We're back with part two of Resident Evil 7's full map exploration experiment. Right now, we're in the scene where Jack is dragging us back into the main house. So we're gonna try to see if we could find the character models anywhere. Jack's going through the front gate, but that front gate should basically be right here. But it's completely unrendered for whatever reason. There's actually a second house here. Um, this is probably where the scene is taking place then. I don't know why they decided to split the house in two parts. But let's see if we could find those character models now. I think I found it. There's the gate. Yep, there's Jack. Holy shit, look at that. Look at this, man. He looks really freaking tall from this angle. Still no Ethan head going on here. I bet her eyes are open. Her fucking eyes are open. Oh my god. That's hilarious. I'm gonna take it slow here, step by step, because it's a pretty quick scene. Yeah, it's just dragging him back in there. That's crazy. This is the scene where Zoe sort of appears for a little bit. Let's see if we can- Oh shit! Jack is still here! Holy shit. Ethan is nowhere to be found, nor is Mia. But let's try to see if we could find Zoe. Don't you die on us now? Yeah, here we you go. Have work to do. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. We found the Zoe sequence. And the room, where the hell is this room? I have no idea. I actually had to restart the mod in order to find this. But wow, this is really in the middle of nowhere here. So it looks like this scene actually takes place where you're about to have dinner. It's a very brief scene, so unfortunately it's just gonna go by really fast. Here we go, the infamous scene from a different perspective. What the hell? Rise and shine, sleepyhead. It's time for supper. Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? Eat it. It's good. Dumb some bitch wasn't no good if it hit him. Lucas! <laughs> 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 Shit. Hit boy's got to eat. He got the happiest supper. Come here, boy. Just do it. Fuck does Marguerite go? Oh, she just disappears into thin air. <laughs> Holy shit, man. He does not have an arm. He just walks by like nothing. He can jack. Right. Yeah, the, the entire animation is rendered, so even though we don't see it, because of, of course it's first person, Ethan's body and his arms and his legs, they do the, the full motions of, you know, whether it's escaping the, the chair or falling down the ladder. Oh, yeah, he does. He just spawns there. <laughs> you can just see Ethan sort of sneaking around there, but it's pretty, it's pretty obviously there. Jack is so much more bigger than Ethan, as you can see. Like, you, we could really see the, the full body scale here. Look at that difference. Oh, gee. Yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, Ethan is really, like, minuscule compared to Jack at this point. Holy shit, there's a big difference. You wasted your time! Yeah. 
What the fuck? Alright, so the deputy should be showing up at any second now. I'm gonna place the camera outside. He's banging on that window. His gun looks very distinctive compared to the one he drops. It looks like a revolver from here. We're inside the deputy. Yeah, this is a different gun completely. I don't know. I don't know why we, we can't get our hands on this one. That's really weird. Hey, wait. You gotta give me your gun. There's a knife. Oh, magic. A fucking pocket knife? Yeah, he's just checking out the blood on the floor. Does he still have the different gun? Yeah, he still has the different gun here. So where the hell does the gun we receive come from? We're gonna have to investigate. Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Try me. Hey, put that door back. Oh. Put that door back up. Wait. Oh shit. <sighs> He's just waiting for us to... Oh, shit. Alright, well, that's what he wants. After three hits, he sort of disappears. He's gonna reappear on, the, on top of the car, I would imagine. Poor Jack. It's kind of his fault anyway. Oh, that's fucking creepy. I'm gonna keep the camera in here. That about wraps it up for part two. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts on the weird deputy revolver gun that never showed up in the game. I'm going to be uploading episodes of this more frequently because I see that you guys really want me to get to the bottom of Ethan's face. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay single.